So hi guys, welcome back to another video on AJ5. So today I'm going to be talking about, as you can tell by the title, how often should you service your car and how often I service my car. Uh, and obviously I'm going to be showing you guys on the BMW website what options you should choose and also what information you can see on the iDrive system over there. So on the screen, so I'm going to start my car in a bit. And also uh, what any, you know, you might get any notifications or any lights on your dashboard to say okay your car needs a service like mine does as you can tell here service due in um service due in 3000 okay wait it's gone so you might have seen it service due in 3100 miles it's been like that since i've got the car so it hasn't been updated i've done way more than three no not way more but i've done about 3000 or 4000 miles since I've got the car, so obviously it's due for a service, but it's still coming out with that light. And I'm also going to be showing you guys um, how often you should, uh, you know, service your car. So let's start the car. As you can see, this comes up, and then all the lights go off. So let's check what miles it's on now. At the moment, it's on 52,559 miles. And the last time I serviced my car would be, let's have a look should be under here service requirements okay a vehicle inspection is needed statutory vehicle inspection due soon so it's due so I just saw this today as I was filming now I just okay so I need a vehicle inspection to be done is due soon and my service let's check my service history my service history was done on the 20th of february last as this year so it's been just under a year and because of the lockdown no i haven't been driving that much so as you can see um the last service was on at 49,000. so let's say 49,900 miles it was done and right now it's at 52,500. so i've only done just about 3,000 miles in about 10 let's say 10 months yeah so i'll probably do another about not even a thousand the next month so that's four thousand miles in a whole year and obviously why because of the pandemic uh, i've been working from home and not traveling much we're not allowed to go anywhere else you know i would have gone on holiday to another country if there was no pandemic and my miles would have gone you know it would have shot up but obviously right now it's only done less than three thousand miles so uh yeah I, I blame covid because i wasn't able to drive much i wasn't able to go anywhere i was i've been stuck at home most most of this year let's say and yeah so so yeah guys uh i was supposed to do it this year let me just turn my car off you know so i was supposed to get it done uh in feb the, in february i was supposed to do my another service uh, because the first you do the service for my car is about 450 pounds to do a service the big service so i would alternate between the two so big service and then next year i'll do small one and then big small big small but I, I'm, I'm wondering or you know deciding whether i should get it done this year because i haven't even driven the car that much as you can see it's done about just under 3,000 miles and they recommend you do the service every two years and or every i think it was eighteen thousand miles or sixteen thousand miles i'll go through the website with you guys later on in the video to explain you know what options there are and as you can as you saw earlier the vehicle inspection is or saturated or something like that it was due soon so i'm going to go through my phone in a in a while because i don't have a phone right now on me i'm filming with my phone so once i get another phone or on my laptop i'll go through what options are available what options you should choose and let me know in the comment section down below if you guys get any lights on your dash anywhere here on your iDrive system and uh, i'll see if you know i can find out what those lights mean but yeah with my old car with my i used to have a Volkswagen golf i used to service it every single year so around july every year i, I used to service it so it doesn't matter if i drive 3,000 miles a year or 4,000 or 10,000 or 15,000 miles a year I service it once a year but obviously I, I didn't take it to Volkswagen it was an old car it was a 2004 model and I used to take it to my local garage service it for about 150 pounds every year you know that's not a big deal but with this car 400 500 pounds a year on service it's quite a lot of money uh, and and yeah so 
in a bit I'm going to go through my laptop or my phone and show you guys the op options that BMW do offer and I know that for Mercedes it's quite different Different. Uh, they have um, uh, the A grade one and the B grade one so the Mercedes A grade is about £750 and the B grade is about £400 four to £500 depending on what car you drive and obviously if you've got this is a five, BMW 5 series and obviously if you've got like a uh, M model like an M5 or M4 it will cost you way more than £450 maybe just about grand or 1.2k that would be the price if you had M M model uh, and yeah so obviously I can't afford to have that so yeah let me know in the comment section down below if you have guys have any questions but let me get a phone and I'll show you guys the the services that BMW do offer and I might go through Mercedes as well just to see you know what they've got so yeah uh, personally I think you should service your car every every year uh, depending on what BMW do if it's a big service you don't need to do a big service every every single year because that's just you wasted money and you know you can alternate between big service and small service big service small service however I don't think this year I need to personally do a service because it's only been about under 3,000 miles since I've you know done my last service so I don't I don't think it is required but yeah uh, I'll show you guys more information on you know the BMW website and how it works in my in the next shot and yeah I'll catch you guys soon peace back here again uh, I told you I promised you guys that I would do the BMW service video on how to check and um, you know how you can book your services online so I just typed in BMW service and I'm just gonna go into this BMW website here and then it takes you to the BMW page where you can book your service so what I am going to do is book a service and it should ask you for your number plate and the mileage somewhere there you go registration and mileage so I'm just gonna quickly enter my mileage which is 52,500 and my number plate let me just do that I'm just so once you've entered your let me just uh, do this for it, it will ask you to find your nearest find your local retailer I'm just gonna put London find retailer all right we're more specific I want to give away my address so bear with me so I'm just gonna select Chiswick Now then scroll down, press continue, and let's have a look. <clears throat> so here we have it. I'm not sure what I need, so we can get a standard service. Yeah, so engine. So as you guys saw earlier, I needed, um, I think it was a vehicle check or something, a statutory check. So I think it's this one here, what's included. Let's have a look. A full inspection of your vehicle is carried out all fluids will be checked on top top all vehicle tires and electric system and stuff like that so i think that's what i need so what i did last year let me just untick that what i did last year was uh this one here 404 pounds 76 pence and they told me to do something else as well they, i think they added this one as well i need to check the paperwork so let's have a look what's included in this one Engine oil is drained, oil filter is removed and replaced, microfilter is removed and replaced, air filter, fuel filter. Uh, for vehicles over 10 years old, this may be referred to as an inspection, blah blah blah. There we have it. Um, recommended every 18,000 miles or two years from last in inspection. So, 18,000 miles is a lot. I've only done about a sixth of that, or not even a sixth of that. So, I've still got a long way to go, and two years is, it says, uh, or two years from last inspection. So that's the engine oil service with microfilter and air filter. Uh, let's have a look at the smaller one for 260 pounds. Engine oil service with the microfilter and that's similar as well. Recommended every 18,000 miles or every two years. 
from the last inspection so by looking at this i don't think my car really needs a service but what i will do is uh, call bmw to check tell them that this light has come up on my iDrive system to do a vehicle check or service check or something like that I believe it's this one £77 it's just for inspection and the seal bolts check road test will be carried out if required recommended every four years or 36,000 miles depending on driving style and road conditions so I believe this is what I need that's for £77 and yeah that's pretty much it uh, let's have a look at the maintenance and repairs that's just the front brake pads uh yeah that's quite expensive at bmw i'm not sure if i'm gonna do the front brake pads and rear brake pad service at bmw because they're quite expensive um obviously if you're gonna do the brake pads you might do the services uh, sorry the disc as well that's about 500 pounds uh typically typically required every 60,000 miles so i think mine's doing about seven to eight thousand miles and I think it's all they're all about typically required every thirty thousand miles. I don't think I've done that yet, so I, I think. But I've checked my brake pads and they look alright. It doesn't look like they need the service. They've got quite a they've got about a year or two left on them, so it's not it's not um urgent or you know it's not required for me to do it right now. But yeah, guys, uh, so this is how you can check uh, if you want to, if you need your you know service to be done and. I'm just gonna have a look here. So you can visit the website bmw.co.uk and then you know topics on a service. You just type in BMW service in Google and then it should it should come up with that. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can check uh, how to do your services or how often you should do it. So as you saw, it's about every two years or every year. So the big one and the small. Guys. You can do alternate between them two as well. But yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and i hope you you know learned something from this if you if that's why you came to watch this video if you have any questions make sure you leave a comment and i'll try my best to answer your questions guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video take care and peace